I enjoy people very much for that human quality in them. To whether someone is a film star or in a rock band or a mum, you know, out there with three, four kids. Uh, for me, I think each person is a star. It's a human star. Everybody needs to look great, and it's very important to have the right shape for you. And that's achieved through an excellent haircut. And that allows me to go as far as I can uh, with the shape that I'm going to create for her. I, I travel in, in, with my imagination as I'm working, but I'm very, very focused. It's a bit like being one with the shape that I'm after, almost in a Zen state because it requires a certain amount of uh, energy from you and, and you enter that energy and you travel with it. It really becomes magic. It's a wonderful feeling. It's a very peaceful feeling. It's been seven hours and 50 days Since you took your love away I go Life is very simple. It's about being a very decent human being. It's about being a loving human being. It's about giving, you know. So whether you're a fisherman, you're a doctor, you're a hairdresser, you're, it's all given to you. You have to do the spiritual work. It's not that you're an artist and you're a hairdresser, you have a better chance. Definitely not. I sold my salon and I went to work for him and I, I I started as an assistant. I didn't care whatever, but that was the 
avant-garde in here. There was nothing else new. That was it. You know, there was nothing else because as I have, as I have um, it was influenced by Modigliani and Brancusi. And Modigliani elongated the faces, and Brancusi did the famous egg, which the head really, the way that uh, uh, Vidal Sassoon conceived, but Sassoon was influenced by the Bauhaus School of Architecture, which is uh, uh, a German school of, uh, uh, of uh, art, a movement that based everything like in a, in a square. So he put the head into a square with the nucleus and uh, zero degrees, 45, 90, and, and you know, we were following angles. Sahad so that that was still too heavy because you were cutting a straight line. And he started cutting, chipping into one hair after one hair uh, at a time. So you created the same thing, but it was so much more movement. So I said, this is, this is, this is something that is for the, for the soul. You know? So I immediately just went for that. A great master will always have uh, the next generation and the next generation that will rediscover him and will re-explore their work. John Sahag was that type of master. He was passionate in what he did. And we always talk about John. And not only the way he did hair, but the way he lived his life. He lived his life like a craftsman, like a true artist, like a true craftsman. If we join the hair, air is a crispy. It's intense. Classic music and the hair, and everybody so crispy. I used to cut wet the hair a long time ago. So I can prepare in you know, a wet cut and a dry cut. And the dry cut is the best way. Best, no doubt. He was a hair genius. So, so that's why we still continue cutting dry hair here. Even he passed away 10 years ago. I don't want to go anywhere. I want to stay here. And uh, so many employees, other people, they are staying a long time, 15 years, 20 years. We are like a family, and the sister, and the brother, and the uncles. And the Thanksgiving, he will always invite his apartment to having a Thanksgiving dinner. We are homeless. <laughs> so he always took care of our employees. John taught us to see with our inner eye, to see shapes differently, and finding beauty everywhere you go. John trained me, and we also had a senior stylist every week that would host a class every Tuesday night. Now, I'm the person that hosts it, so it's like a thing that keeps going. It's the gift that keeps going and going. And it was great because I learned different ways of how each stylist had their own flair of it. So it's like you have a different teacher every week, so it's kind of nice to see their flavor of how they do their dry cut interpretation, and it was awesome. And also being left-handed hairstylist, which is like very hard to learn how to do things and the dry cut method you can be a lefty and not feel like you're lost in the haircut because the whole thing is learning how to taper hair. One of the great opportunities that I've had was to develop a team of very talented, amazingly young and young at heart individuals that basically comprise Team Sahak. When John brought me in, um, I said okay we sat down and I put a whole proposal um, to take the line and uh, condense it into categories. Um, we, we cut the line in half. Uh, we got new distributors. We doubled the size of the company. And th this is all before John passed, which is, I'm glad, because it gave John some comfort, something that was positive in those uh, painful years, the painful the painful end. If you're having fun making shapes with hair, do it. And when it's time to go, you say, thank you God, here I come.